welcome to the runtime error we are going to starting a new series on lead code top 150 that is the top 150 most important questions for your interview in this video we will be discussing a question called as more sorted array so what does this question mean is we are given a two different array called as num1 and num2 and most interesting point it is both the arrays are sorted in a non decreasing order which means both the arrays are in increasing order we are also given a two different variables called as m and n which simply says that the size of my first array and size of my second array most interesting point that is whenever we merge the two arrays that is num1 and num2 whatever the final answer we get the final answer must also be in a non decreasing order this is the catch we need to make sure we are already given an array both the arrays inside the non decreasing order that is in increasing order and the final answer which we generate should be also in non decreasing order so before heading to the solution of the solution part let's understand what exactly the question needs so here is the catch we need to look for so what they have given us we are given a two arrays that is num1 and num2 num1 has given an extra space and that extra space is mainly represented by zeros where we need to insert all the elements from num2 i hope so you understand the question let's say here we are given extra three zeros so what does three zeros says that the three zeros are nothing but this is the are the elements where we need to insert over here so this is what we are supposed to do so whenever we come across any kind of a question the first things that comes in our mind is brute force solution so what we will do is we will be using a brute force solution so what will be the brute force solution so we will what we will do is we will simply take one extra array we will put all the elements from the first vector inside my temporary vector and all the elements of my second vector inside my temporary vector and simply we will sort it will it give us the answer which we are looking for yes let's check let's check say for example we have given example as my first array contains element as 1 2 3 0 0 0 and my second array contains element as 2 5 and 6 what i will do is i will take one extra array of size m plus n we know that m is the size of my first array n is the size of my second array so this will be size of m plus n so i will take all the elements from first array to my second array except these zeros because these zeros are not my element these are the extra space used to indicate that here we need to insert all the elements from second array so we will put all the non-zero elements of first array inside my temporary vector that is 1 2 and 3 now what i will do is now i will put all the elements of my second vector inside my temporary vector that is 2 5 and 6 so i have did this now what i need to do is our question says that we need our final answer in a non decreasing order so what we will do is we will simply sort this vector so what will be our final answer we will get so 1 2 2 3 5 and 6 so this is our final answer which we are looking for we have merged both the arrays that too in non decreasing order that too in non decreasing order so let's write down program for it brute force solution so what i will do is first i will create a one vector of say size my answer now what i will do uh, this is of size m plus n now what I will do is I will run a loop from 0 to m which means I need to run from this to this location and I will put all the elements of my first array inside my answer array. Again what I will do is I will use one more loop to move all the elements from second array inside my answer array. So here I have merged all the elements that is 1, 2, 3, 2, 5 and 6. Now what I need to do is I need to sort this. 
so what we will do is we will simply use sorting algorithm in c plus plus stl we got inbuilt function of sorting and vector so what i will do is i will simply use it so sort ns dot begin to ns dot end here we will get our final answer that is one two two three five u and six so this is the answer which we are looking for now if you discuss the overall time complexity of brute force solution what it will be now first we have moved all the elements from the first vector inside our answer vector so how much time it will take it will take big of pm time because my first vector contains n elements again we moved all the n elements from the second vector inside my answer vector so it will take big of pm time now sorting how much time it will take for sorting with total sorted elements are m plus n m from my first vector n from my second vector so the overall time complexity to sort the array will be p of m plus n of log of m plus n so this will be my overall time complexity if we talk about the space complexity so time complexity uh, is my b of m plus b of n plus b of m plus n log of m plus n and what will be my space complexity of course my space complexity will be big of m plus n because we are using an extra array to store the elements of first as well as my second vector but the point is when you try to give the brute force solution of course the interviewer will not be happy we need to optimize it as much as possible so the question comes can we do it something better than this so let's try to do a optimal solution now we will give a optimal solution so we know that we have given an example as 1 2 3 0 0 0, 0. and my second array contains 2 for you and 6 now let's have some clear observation of this question clear observation the question says that we need to move all the elements of second array inside my first array and at the same time my first array has extra space to store to store all elements of my second array right my second array has three elements and my first array has three extra space 0 0 0 this 0 is not an element this is the extra space used to indicate that we can fit all the elements from second array to my first array now what we will do are we really concerned about the elements present at my this position means before my extra space are we really concerned no we are only concerned about this position and these elements so in brute force solution we were trying to also put some operation on those elements on which we are not much concerned about for example 1 2 3 we are not much concerned about these elements we are only concerned about this extra space and these three elements so how can we do it something better than this let's try to do this now what i will do is with i will write this example once again that is 1 2 3 0 0 0 1 i use 2 for you and 6 so 0 1 2 3 4 for you 0 1 2 so this is am i n until here till here my this is my n now what i will do is i will try to keep a three separate pointers three separate pointers so one pointer will be pointing at here one pointer will be pointing at here now the point is we want to store the elements at the position of zeros so i will keep one more extra pointer pointing at my last index of my first array so now what i will do is i got 6 i got 3 i got 3 i got 6 so this is my second array this is my first array so i got 3 from my first array i got 6 from my second array which one is greater of course 6 is greater so what i will do is i will put here 6 and i will move this pointer to over here i will also move this pointer 
over here now i got 3 and now i got 5 which one is greater of course 5 is greater so i will put here 5 i will move this pointer at this location now this is also we are done with now we got 3 and now we got 2 which one is greater of course 3 is greater so what i will do is i will simply put here 3 i will move this pointer at this location and also this has moved to this position now i got 2 and now i got 2 which one is greater I can take either this two or this two. There is no any kind of limitation that you should take only from the second vector or the third vector or the first vector. But the point is, what does the question say is that we need to put all elements of second array. Therefore, I will go with two present at the second array that is this. So what I will do is I will simply put here two and I will move this pointer now if you see my pointer has come out of my second array which means I have inserted all the elements of second array inside my first array and if you observe this array carefully can we say that we got the answer which we are looking for that is 1 2 2 3 5 6 and it is also the non decreasing order so this is the most optimal solution now let's try to implement this solution now I will try to keep three different pointers that is in say for example end one which is of m minus one i got n two which is of n minus one and we need to use one index variable so that we can insert the element at its correct position which is at index m plus n minus one m plus n minus one so what i will do is i will simply run a loop now the question come for which should I run a loop? Should I run a loop for the my first array or should I run a loop at my second array? Of course, the answer will be my second array because I need to insert all the elements from the second array to my first array. So what I will do is I will run my loop till my error n2 is greater than or equal to 0. Now what I will do is I will check if my array of 1 is greater than array of 2 in then what i need to do is i need to simply put array of one index equal to array of one in one right so what i mean is i'm checking with this and this element i'm checking with this element with this and if my three say for example if any element present at the three is greater than six then we simply need to put over here so this is what we wrote over here if this condition gets false then what we need to do is we simply need to write element present at the second array at my index position that is my air of 2 inside my a into 2 right then what i will do is i will update the a into minus minus here also we need to update a in 1 minus minus and then finally i will also change my index to index minus minus so this is the solution which you are supposed to write. It is the most optimal solution. Let's make a dry run of it. We got array as 1, 2, 3, say for 0, 0, 0. And we got 2, 5, and 6. We are maintaining a 3 pointers, one at here one at here and one at here now check i got three i got six which is with six is greater so what i will do is i'll simply put over here six i'll move this pointer over here now i got three and now i got five which one is greater of course five is greater so what i will do is i'll simply put five over here and move this pointer at this location Now I got three, and I'll, now I got three, and now I got two. The which one is greater? Of course, three is greater. So what I will do is I will simply put here three, and I will simply move this pointer at this location. Now I got two, and now I got two. Now what I will do is 
this condition will eventually get false so i will come at here so what i will do is i will simply put here 2 and this will come out of my second array and eventually this condition will get false and we will come across and here we can see the our final answers that is 1 2 2 3 5 6 but the point is there is one catch in this if condition let's take an example my first array is my empty array which means my m is equal to 0 and my second array contains one element let's say example as 3 which is say n is equal to 1. now my end 1 will be minus 1 and my end 2 will be my 0 but the point is we are trying to compare the element of end 1 how can we compare the element present at minus 1 index this will lead to segmentation fault hence what we need to do is we need to add one extra condition over here that is and and my end one should be greater than equal to zero so this is the answer and this is the optimal solution we will be working on and this will be the solution where the interview will be happy because its time complex it is much more better than the brute for solution so what will be its time complexity if you talk about the time complexity so overall time complexity will be big of n in average case but if you talk about the worst case worst case it will be big of n plus n and space complexity will be big of one i hope so you understand this algorithm now let's check the original code in our lead code okay now let's look at the solution that we will be submitting on lead code i have declared the variable called end one which will be pointing at my last element of my first vector that is over here i have also declared the variable called end one which will be pointing at my last element of my second vector that is over here and this index will be pointing over here where we are supposed to put the elements at its right position so we are traversing to the second vector because we need to insert all the elements of second vector inside my first vector before we try to put any elements we are supposed to check whether my end one is greater than or equal to zero because we saw one case that if my size of m is equal to zero and n is equal to one then what we will do is my end one will be minus one and we need to make sure that we check this condition as well if my push element present at the end of my first array is greater than the element present at my end of two of my second array then simply what I need to do is I need to simply put that element at this correct position. So this is what we did and at the same time what we did is we also changed the index as well as the end. We shifted one position back of, of all the pointers where we are supposed to the pointing. And at the same time if this condition gets false what we did is we simply inserted the element present inside the second vector into our first vector and also updated the index at the same time so this is the solution which we will be submitting on lead code i hope you understood this question clearly if you really like the way i am teaching you do subscribe the channel it gives me a motivation to make a better videos till then have a happy coding